Uh, no, <laughs> it depends who's driving uh, when you hear this one. Squeezing your car into a parking spot isn't necessarily just a hazard to the bumper. Don't know what they mean when they wrote that. Uh, but it can also leave you with a big dent in your finances. There are, however, cheaper alternatives closer to home that could also help some of you make some money out of someone else's parking. Zoe Kleiman has uh, just the ticket. He's got a brand new car. Looks like a Jaguar. Finding somewhere to park can be a pain at the best of times. And even when you do, if you're parking all day every day, it soon adds up. Six hours in that car park will cost you £12. But there is an alternative. Hello, Parklet. Kate speaking. How can I help? This Essex letting agent specialises in renting out driveways and garages around the UK. It has over 19,000 on its books. Uh, well, at the time, back in 2004, I was working in the city and commuting from Chelmsford train station and had been for a number of years and um, was really just getting, becoming frustrated with the parking that was available. It was expensive and, and getting ever more expensive, but worse than that was the lack of spaces and it was really born out of that frustration that I um, noticed that householders nearby had parking spaces which weren't being used. So what did you do? To begin with I um, spent my weekends knocking on doors, um, knocked on pretty much everybody's door within a 10 minute walk from Chelmsford station. Robert McGinn's been renting Daniel Stern's parking space for the last two months. Uh, I discovered Parklet on um, the internet, on Google, um, and they had a Google map showing all the parking spaces and all the rates uh, where I was looking to uh, rent a space. When uh, they find a tenant, they contact you and they do the paperwork and the money just goes into my bank account. It's, yeah, it's very straightforward. If you're renting out your drive, you have to be prepared not to use it at all for either five or seven days a week. And if you're the tenant, you park there at your own risk, just like a normal car park. But if you're looking for somewhere to leave your car, or you have a parking space you're not using, it could be just the ticket.